Hi, my name is Julian, and today I'm gonna talk about milestones. Milestone, what is really a milestone? Technically, milestone is a stone set up beside a road to mark the distance in miles to a particular place. Also, a, a milestone is a significant event in your life. Often, a milestone marks the start of a new chapter. For example, the day you graduated from high school was a milestone in your life. I know most of you is familiar with milestones since we're having that once in a while in our work. But I would like to emphasize your passion milestone. Passion can mean many things, many things to us. It can mean we are passionate about the food we eat or the person we love. Passion generally means something we love to do. Okay then, um, give me a favor and think what is your passion. Regardless of your age or your situation might be, just think of what you really want to do for the rest of your life. And then identify what, what you need to do to achieve that dream. Does it matter how long? Does it matter how hard it is or impossible it is? Just think of how you can fulfill your passion. So I will ask you this. For the past years, did you do anything to achieve some, some of those milestones in your passion? If yes, then it's good for you. And then if no, my friend, there's, this, there's still time. Anyways, I, I would like to share my passion milestone to you guys. So, as some of you know, I love music, I love playing instruments, I love singing. I'm a slave for music, um, other, I would do anything for music. My dad is also a frustrated musician. He studied business to continue my, grandfather, my grandfather's business and left his passion behind, which is to be a musician. So back when I was a kid, second grade to be exact, my dad bought me a small nylon guitar along with the Song Hits magazine. I think some of you remembered the Song Hits, a top 10, 20 songs of the month with their lyrics and chords. It, um, also it has a chord, chord chart back, uh, chord chart in the back to help you play the song. Um, when he gave me that guitar, he never really pushed me to do music. He was just hoping that it would be nice if, if his only son would, like, would, would also like music or at least know how to play a guitar. So after a few weeks playing with my guitar, I learned my first song which is When You Say Nothing At All because that's the easiest and my sisters would sing it. Every day we jam for like an hour or two after our class. I will play the guitar and then they will sing. It's like our bonding as siblings. Until now actually, we do that once in a while even though they have their own family now. Okay, going back. I was in 6th grade and I'm the only one left in the house since my sisters left, left for college in Cebu. All the nights that, that I was alone playing my guitar outside the house, I was, start, I was, I was thinking of, of what will I do for college. I know I'm good at music and that's the day I said to myself I'm gonna be a musician. I wanna be a musician because that's my passion. I joined a band, we did gigs twice twice in a week every night, practice every day after my class. Even though I was exhausted, tired, sleepy because, because of the studying, I was satisfied. I was happy because, because I'm doing what I love and that's, that's the only thing that matters. During my times in high school, I saved most of my money to buy instruments. I bought beatbox, ukulele, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, and some amplifiers. My, my dad also supported me all the way. He also bought me an electric grand piano. Actually, until now, whenever I come home in my province, he would ask me to play for him. So, okay, so fast forward. I was in the last year of my high school and my mom asked me, what will I take for college? I said, I want to, per I want to pursue music. I want to study music. And unfortunately, my mom disapproved my decision. She said that it would be nice 
if I have a professional college degree first before stepping in the music industry. And 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 I understand that because I know education is so much important to her. And then um, I took up computer engineering in University of San Carlos, but I didn't stop doing music. I did a lot of co- I did a lot of covers. I did some gigs, performed in schools. I also joined a group who helps street children to be hooked in music instead of doing drugs or crimes. But I didn't told my mom all that because I know she'd be worried if I'm not focusing on my academics. I only told my sisters and my dad about it. But after a few months, my mom found out because my dad accidentally told her, accidentally told her when he was drunk. But it turns out, she supported me and didn't didn't make me stop doing music. She, she encouraged me more to do gigs because I think she saw that that I can't really give up my passion, which is doing music. After doing a lot of gigs during my college days, I met this girl who is a friend of my cousin and want to manage my gigs. And I said, of course. She managed to book me every weekend for my gigs, earn good money. She even helped me arrange some of the songs. In short, things going great. There's this one night I was laying on my bed thinking of the new set of songs for the next for the next gig but then something pop out in my mind I want a bigger crowd so I texted my manager and told her if she can book me with a bigger crowd I said um, does it matter where or when I just want bigger audience and then she said she will look into it after how many weeks she texted me saying the do you still want to perform with bigger audience? And I said, yes. She replied, we have, we have a gig in August. It's called um, Live Acoustic Feet or La Feet. It's a bunch of local artists performing all Cebuanos. And it's a two-day concert. My hand was shaking and sweaty. I was scared and excited at the same time because it's a concert. I never really played at a concert before because all my gigs um, is in it's either beer house or like resto uh, like that uh, people are busy drinking and talking but not concert but not a concert and then I, I, I texted her where is the venue she replied it's in SMC side and the concert will be held at, 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 at open grounds. It's a free concert promoting young, young local artists. 10 songs, 45 minutes. Literally, the whole SMC side pop out in my head, realizing how big it is. And I will be, and I will be performing there for 45 minutes. So I panic. My hands and feet are sweating and shaking at the same time. I practice immediately after after how many minutes after our conversa- our conversation i practiced four to five hours a day because i want this to be perfect and there's no room for error and the day came my whole family was there they flew from masbati to cebu just to see me perform my dad came to the dressing room and asked me how am, how, how am i doing i said i'm really nervous and i don't know if i can perform well he tapped his hands on my shoulder and said that that he's really proud of me and whatever it takes I should I should not stop doing music because he knows that I'm good at it and it look and it looks cool. The host announced my name and then I go up on on stage. I saw this big crowd, mixed mixed audience, students, kids, parents, grandparents. And then I close my eyes and said to myself, this is what I want. This is what I ask for. I started strumming my guitar and started singing. Here's a video clip from the acoustic session.
turns out it was successful you want to know why because i was invited again to perform the next month after that same place in smc side but that time i perform in the garden of seaside and that mini concert is just for me whole one hour and 30 minutes only for me here's the clip also During my last song, which is One Day by Matisha Hu, uh, fireworks light up in the sky. It was really magical and fulfilling. And after that night, I've, I slept really, really peaceful and happy, just like this guy. And as of today, I stopped doing gigs and focus, focus on my career as a developer. But I will get back to doing music soon because I know that passion passion will, will not fade in your life. It will continue to grow. So, yeah. And that that is my story of my passion milestone. You, what's your passion milestone story? What up? What up?